Hi everyone, this is Philip Martin from the Phoenix Society. In this video we're going to take a look at a longsword made by Angus Trim, the Atrium 14A.1. This sword was inspired by a sword from the book Medieval Swords from Southeastern Europe. Uh, it was written sometime after Oakshot's record of the medieval sword. And there are a number of swords in there that don't fit neatly into Oakshot's typology. One of them is a sword with a type 14 blade, but a long tang, suggesting a two-handed grip. This Atrium 14A.1 has a 34 and 3 quarter inch blade and an 8 inch grip. Uh, it weighs 2 pounds, 6 and a half ounces, and balances at 5 inches. Uh, with that light weight, you might assume that this is a, a hand and a half sword that feels more comfortable in one hand than in two. But with the mass distribution, this sword delivers powerful cuts in two hands uh, and is, is very quick in two hands. So I did some cutting earlier this weekend. Um, let's take a look at that cutting footage and see how well this Atrium 14A.1 cuts the Tommy. So as you can see from that cutting footage, this Atrium 14A.1 cuts the Tommy very well. Uh, it cuts well in two hands. Um, you may have also noticed that it's quite flexible. Uh, two pounds, six and a half ounces is not a lot of steel for a, a long sword, but this has a very efficient design and it handles and cuts very well. Uh, if you enjoyed seeing this sword in action, and would like to learn more about how to perform the cutting feats that I did uh, and also what sharpening was involved. Um, please consider joining my Patreon channel. Uh, I'll put a link in the description. Um, I'll add a video for this sword soon and more videos in the future. Um, I imagine the content will evolve over time as I get feedback from the Patreon members. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. And thank you very much for watching.